We're back. Gilmore from Vintage Breaks, that's right, has finally repackaged, I mean opened, the pack of 1981 Topps Basketball that he has now famously swapped off camera. And let's roll that clip one more time in case anybody hasn't seen it yet. Here we go. You dip, Daniel? You dipped? Why are you a dip? It doesn't matter if you choose left or right because they're both chewy, crunchy, and delicious. All right, here we go. So the updates out of Vintage Breaks since we did our last video was Gilmore is now taking a two-week medical vacation after finally coming up with the pack and opening it on camera after I guess one, two, three, or about four tries. He was removed as the admin of the Scammers Exposed Facebook group that he was a longtime admin of. My question to you guys out there watching, does Gilmore return to break with Vintage Breaks in two weeks? We still have not heard from Vintage Breaks owner, Leighton Shelton, and there may be a good reason as to why. He's been heavily distracted lately because of a divorce he's going through. Even worse for him, God, I think even he, as we'll see, wishes he was making this up. His wife, get this, is a divorce attorney. So, hey, this is not something I would normally talk about. This doesn't have anything to do with cards, but I didn't bring it up. Leighton Shelton himself brought it up on a recent live stream. So let's roll the clip. I've been going through the divorce process. Uh, it's extremely nasty. Uh, it's extremely uncomfortable. And um, I'm taking it one day at a time. I don't want to bullshit people. I don't wish this on anyone. I mean, a, cont a contentious divorce. I'm saying very little, I'm sure, for a reason you can understand. Oh, and by the way, I'll be, you know, starting my stand-up career. But you can imagine that even though this is, may sound funny. Oh, and she's, my ex is a divorce attorney. Yeah. So um, I wish I could make this shit up. So look, we've got tons and tons of questions out of vintage breaks, not only involving the pack swapping with Gilmore, but this personal situation with Leighton Shelton, you know, kind of going through, as he says, a nasty divorce with a divorce attorney. So my goodness, we will be back, I'm sure, to talk about everything going on over there at Vintage Breaks. Second update to bring to you is Golden has voided the sale of the $54,000 2000 Playoff Contenders Tom Brady rookie card, PSA 8 graded condition, that sold the other day on their website after a video from something sports cards came out revealing that this card was once a PSA 6 and some heavy, heavy alteration went on. Again, I'm not talking about just kind of buffing down the surface. So it, this card might have been pressed, might have been trimmed, might have been recolored. So again, we're talking about heavy, heavy alteration on this card, not just the buff down. So shout out to something sports cards who did all the legwork on this, on discovering this card. Will we see this card again? Will this card get locked up in some kind of PSA vault? Will it end up in an altered holder? We shall see. Hey, this card still has value in the condition that it, it's in. Any kind of alteration on it should be disclosed. And again, it's still a rookie card Tom Brady autograph. It will have value. It's just not going to have the value of maybe something in its original condition. So, Kudos for Golden for voiding the sale so quickly. Kudos to Something Sports Cards for doing all the legwork on that and discovering this card. And we will be back to talk about any other trimmed, altered cards, any other scandals in the hobby, and certainly in a couple weeks to see if Gilmore is back breaking with vintage bricks.